It was the day before the elves' Christmas party, and Thomas was returning to Napford with his last load of passengers for the day, when he saw the Fat Controller waiting for him. Right on time, Thomas. Thank you, sir. Did you receive the railway's end of the year report? I sure have, Thomas, and this was the best year we've had. That's great, sir. Let's hope next year's report will be even better than before. Just then, Neville called into view. Hello, Thomas. You look happy. That's because tomorrow is the Earl's Christmas party, Neville. There's going to be lights, decorations, presents for the children, and the biggest Christmas tree ever. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. If only I was invited to a party, I could have a lot more fun too. Have you been invited to a party, Neville? No, I haven't, Thomas. I've never been to a party before. <sighs> I don't think I ever will be. Thomas was puzzled. He didn't know why Neville looked so miserable about not getting invited to parties. How is Neville going to be happy if he gets invited to the party? As Thomas returned to the sheds, the other engines wouldn't stop talking about the Earl's Christmas party. I heard it's going to have the biggest Christmas tree ever! I can't wait to see all the colourful lights! And there's going to be more guests than last year's party! Are you excited about the Earl's Christmas party, Thomas? But Thomas wasn't thinking about the party. He was thinking about his friend Neville feeling left out. Percy, do you remember our black engine friend, Neville? Neville? I haven't heard from him in ages. Is there something wrong with him? When I saw him at Napford, he looked so miserable that he was never invited to any party at all. That's not good. I really do hope Neville has a good Christmas this year. So do I, Percy. Will you two please stop talking about that ugly engine? Be quiet, James. Neville is our friend. He may look different to us, but he's still eager to be really useful. James snorted. He didn't want to hear any more about Neville. The next morning, the engines woke up and were surprised to see that it had snowed during the night. Snow! <laughs> How brilliant! Wow! Oh, I love the snow! This will make the Earl's party even more Christmassy! But snow causes confusion and delay, and we don't want that on party day! You're right, Percy, though I do wish Neville would be happy this Christmas. Just then, the Fat Controller arrived at the sheds to give out an important message for the engines. You must all wear your snow plows to clear the track so everyone can get to the party on time. Do you all know what jobs to do for the party? I'll go to Erinsburg to collect a shipment of lights. And I can go and help out at the castle grounds. And I shall be taking the guests on board my express. That's excellent. Now I need to head to my office to finish my report before I make my own way to the party. You all know what you have to do. As soon as the Fat Controller left, the engines left the sheds one by one to start their jobs and preparations for the party. As usual, Mia collected the lights from Carlsberg Harbour, while James helped out at the castle grounds. Gordon collected the guests from every station, and Thomas had to help Emily and Rebecca do some ploughing. Lots and lots of ploughing. Peep, peep. As Percy went to the shunting yards to pick up his mail vans, he saw Neville filling up his tender with coal. Hello, Neville! What's the matter? Hello, Percy! Thomas was right! You do look miserable! Tell me what's wrong! Thomas said he was looking forward to the party, and that makes me miserable! I've never been invited to a party before, and I never will be! Cheer up, Neville! I'm sure there's something for you to do. If you ask the back controller first. Good idea, Percy. I can ask the back controller if he has something for me to do. The 
that someone had been hearing the conversation and had another plan of their own. Yeah, that black engine doesn't look happy. But at least it isn't a diesel engine. Hello, black engine. What's your name? Oh, hello. I'm Neville. And who are you? Yeah, my name's Sonny. And I'm new to this railway. Nice to meet you, Sonny. What brings you here? I heard that you weren't looking happy when you were talking with Percy. I was for a while, but then Percy told me to go and see the fat controller if he had a job he could do for me. There's no need for that, Neville. I've got a better idea. You can come with me and we can go out in the snow together. It'd be fun spending time with your friend. No, thank you, Sonny. I need to go to that front and talk to the fat controller. I'll see you later. Oh, goodbye then, Neville. I suppose I could have just a bit of fun of my own. <laughs> When Neville arrived at Netford, he could see the back controller looking rather puzzled. Hello, sir. Is something wrong? I need an engine to deliver the children's presents to Wolfstead Castle. They'll be very disappointed if they don't get their gifts this Christmas. Don't worry, sir. I can deliver the presents for you. Thanks, Neville. That would be very nice. It's well indeed, sir. Neville was very happy to be helping out with the party preparations. At last, now I can finally get a nice long run to stretch my wheels. At Holstead Castle, the Earl was looking forward to opening up the party later tonight. All the lights have been added on the trees, sir. Excellent, Billy. That's just what we need to turn Holstead into a Christmas castle. <laughs> I'm here, sir. I've got the presents for the children that are coming. How marvellous! I wasn't expecting you to deliver the presents, Neville. Think nothing of it, sir. I'm just happy to help out on the railway. Oh, look! The guests are starting to arrive. What are you doing here, Neville? Shouldn't you be working on the branch line to Brendam? I asked the fat controller if he could allow me to deliver the presents for the children, Gordon. I'm just trying to help. But you're never invited to go to parties because you look very ugly with that square boiler of yours. This made Neville feel more sad than ever. And with that, he puffed quickly away. He didn't stop until he returned back to the yards. Hello again, Neville. What's the matter now? Gordon thinks my square boiler makes me look ugly, Thomas. I'll never be able to go to the party now. Gordon just thinks that you look different to us, Neville. Because of your square boiler, difference is what makes you special. Do you really think so, Thomas? Yes, Neville. I really do. Now then, I'd better go to the Earl's party now. See you later. Hi, Thomas. Now then. Where is this sunny engine that wanted you to go with me? Oh, why is there so much snow everywhere? I can't see where I'm going. That afternoon, Neville saw Rebecca at Natford collecting guests to take to the party. Rebecca, have you seen Sonny anywhere? Well, the last time I saw Sonny, he was out on the main line. The main line? I thought Sonny was supposed to stay in the shooting yards. Well, he wanted to have an adventure in the snow, but I think there's a snowstorm on its way. If Sonny's in trouble, I must go to the search and rescue centre. Good luck, Neville. Rebecca was right. There was a snowstorm coming towards the end. Neville tried his best to see through the snow, but he couldn't see Sonny anywhere. There's too much snow. I have to get Owl to help me. He's my only hope. Hello, Neville. You look very tired. I'm trying to find Sonny, but he's lost in the snow. But there is a snowstorm on the way, Neville. I have to stay put until it passes. There's no time for that, Harold. This is an emergency. You're my only choice. You're right, Neville. Now I'm ready for action. 
You'd better be careful, Harold. The snowstorm is coming closer. Snow don't bother me this time. Captain, duty calls. Good luck, you two. When the big snowstorm started, the search for Sonny had begun. Harold searched high, while Neville searched low. Can you see him from up there, Harold? Oh, there's too much snow, Neville. I can't really see where I'm going. Keep looking. We mustn't give up at this rate. Meanwhile, Sonny was buried deep in the snow. He couldn't turn his wheels, and his crew had gone for hell. Why don't I leave the shunting yards in the first place? The gov will never appreciate me going out in the snow on my own. What's that light in the distance? It's Harold! He's come to rescue me! Neville, I have good news. I found Sonny right down there. Follow my searchlight and you'll find him. Thanks, Harold! Neville, you're here. What are you doing out in this blizzard, Sonny? I'm so sorry. I just wanted to go out and explore in the snow. Well, I know a place where we can go and get ourselves warm. Harold! Use your spotlight as our navigation. We're going to the Earl's Christmas party. Watch that, Neville. And so, Neville pushed Sonny out of the snowdrift and was free. On the way to Ulstead, Harold used his spotlight to guide Sonny and Neville through the snow. Eventually, they arrived at Olmstead Castle, just as the Elves Christmas party began. We're here, Neville! We've arrived! Neville, you're here! And you've brought Sonny along with you! I sure have, Thomas! Well, this place looks wonderful with all those lights and decorations! How did you two manage to get through that blizzard? I got stuck in the snow. And then Neville came and get me out. And Harold used his spotlight to guide us through the snow. There he is! I'm here, everyone! Why, goodness me, what brings you here, Harold? I helped guide Sonny and Neville through the blizzard with my spotlight. Neville was the one who rescued Sonny from the snow. Is that right, Neville? Is yes, it? I can't believe I'm at an actual party! Well done on rescuing Sonny, Neville! Yes, quite impressive. I'm sorry for what I said to you earlier. It's okay, Gordon. I forgive you. Now let this Christmas party begin! Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas to you too, Neville! <laughs> 